Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to be editing this image by Anna Brandt using the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Actions Suite. This set contains over 90 actions for newborns. This is how the set will look when you load it up into Photoshop. I prefer to use button mode in the action palette by coming up here and selecting button mode. I'm just going to pull this in a bit, there we go. So now we can see all the actions laid out in workflow order um, and you can play them by clicking once. So I'm going to zoom in here so we can see this little one's skin. Very classic newborn skin, you have some dryness, flakes. Um, everything here is very temporary, meaning by the time the parents come to view this image, this will all be gone. So it's our job as photographers to kind of get rid of all this. So I'm going to start by playing the newborn skin perfecto set here. I do this by clicking once and the action will play out. This is a really big action, so it does take um, a few seconds to play out. But the result is it will set you up with a load of uh, layers here that you can simply click, decide and paint on. You'll need a white brush here, selecting white. Let's use the bracket keys to make this brush a bit smaller. My settings are 100% opacity, 25% flow, brush normal. And I'm going to start here with the newborn portrait skin base. And this will help me get rid of all these little flakes simply by holding down and brushing over. So I am just clicking and painting. This will also soften down these lines here on the forehead, making them look a lot smoother. Remember when editing newborns, we're bringing them back to the way parents see the babies. Our cameras pick up an awful lot of detail, um, which is great for eyelashes and beautiful little swells on the hair, not so good because it really magnifies all these little spots and flakes the parents don't even really notice too much. So it's really important that we come over and get rid of those. So I'm just going to work on the legs here. You can pop your flow up a bit harder if you want this to work um, faster. So I've just done that there. You can see I'm just brushing over. I'm avoiding any uh, large areas of detail. Uh, because this will also smooth down lines between the toes and things, which we don't want it to do. Any way you don't want it to show, you can simply switch to a black brush um, and that will hide the effect. So I've gone back to white now, and I'm just removing all these little flakes. So let's see before and after there. Before and after. You can see there's a little darkness here, so I'm just going to take that away before and after. Next up is blotchy mottled skin. Um, this baby doesn't have any blotchy skin so I don't need to use that one. I'm going to pop the flow back down to 25 and I'm just coming back down here for a moment just to get rid of some of these extra flakes here. Softer skin, um, you can use that right away if you want to kind of soften up any areas but I'm going to leave the soft skin for now. Skin retexture, that's good. If some areas look a little bit too smooth, you can add a bit of texture back in. Detail pop, I'm going to use this really small across the eyelashes and the lips. Some contrast, we don't really need that. But I am going to add this toner. This helps balance out reds and yellows in the newborn's skin. So before and after there. And milky bright, I'm going to add a little bit of this to the face. We want the face to be brightest um, because that kind of draws the attention in there. Okay, so before and after there, we can see the skin is really looking smoother now. So I'm going to use the flatten. There we go. I'm going to play um, subtle contrast by clicking on it there. This will add a nice contrast to the whole image. I'm going to play reduce the reds and paint this over these feet. and any other areas where we have some red kind of blotchiness. I might play it again just for here. So I'm just lightly painting this over those red areas there and flatten down. Upon history I'm going to take a snapshot here so we can see oh, before and after. I actually cropped that one in. 
I'm going to play the Creamy Soft Pale Skin and I'm just going to run this over baby um, avoiding any real details like eyelashes and things because I don't want to soften those down so I'm going to bring this brush up and this will give that lovely glossy softness um, the creamy skin that we're all kind of looking for when editing newborns and switch to a black brush here and just take this off these areas there's also a sharpen up here that we can use to sharpen up areas like eyebrows and lips and places like that and flatten down I'm going to play Brighten Up Baby. I'm just going to lift some of the um, brightness on this little foot. So now I'm going to fix these areas using the Select and Fix action, which is here. This is in the manual editing section, meaning you need to do a little bit of work. You can click on the instructions here, or you can watch the videos on YouTube. To use this, I'm going to select the patch tool and I'm just going to come in here and select this area here to fix and play select and fix. You can also press play this by pressing F2 once you've made your selection. Um, I'll show you how to do that right now. If you're on a Mac you're going to want function and F2. Again, any bits that don't quite work just select them again. There's a little smudge on the background. out there we go and because you're on patch tool you can kind of use it here to drag and patch any way you like I'm gonna hit F2 on the keyboard and that will play select and fix so for example I can select here F2 one hand on the keyboard one hand on the mouse it makes it an awful lot quicker to edit I think I'm just gonna play the warm-up action and just warm baby up just a little bit see all the manual actions here, we don't need any of those right now Let's zoom out so we can see the whole image Have some um, overlays here for example dark and woody may work on this one but I'm going to paint it off the baby because I want to keep the brightness there so I'm going to select a brush on black and I'm just going to paint this off. You see that's kind of brought the attention into baby. Creamy matte is also quite nice. I'm going to bring the opacity down on that one. And flatten. Dramatic vignette. See that really brings the attention in again. And let's take a snapshot here so we can see the before and after. At this point, you can come in with the patch tool and you know, finish off any other little areas that you want to correct, any other skin tones, any kind of orange or red tones that we have here. Can be quite easily corrected by using Select and Fix or the Patch Tool. So I'm simply drawing around any of these little areas and pressing F2, and that links to the LSP Select and Fix action that's included, and that is a really fast way of editing newborn skin here. And play reduce the rays one more time. Grab a brush. <laughs> the brush is massive. And I'm just going to fix any of these last little red kind of areas here. This is a very gentle action, reduce the reds. If you find the reds are too much, you may want to play this other action here in the toning section, which is go away reds extra. And this is a stronger action, as you can see, I can really paint away these red tones. 
นะPlayed eyelid smooth and lift as well because even though these eyelids don't need lifting as such, um, that's really good if you have kind of shadowed eyelids. It will smooth down some of this kind of um, kind of hard look that you often quite get to newborn's eyelids as they adjust to the outside world. And I'm just going to take those reds away from there. So snapshot, let's see where we were, before and after. And that's using the LSP Signature Newborn Collection for Photoshop. There are over 90 actions here. I only used a few of them for that edit. Um, there are 90 actions, meaning you can be prepared for any type of newborn edit, including black and whites, Facebook, um, resize options, finishing touches, manual actions, all sorts, the whole shebang. And that's available at www.lsp-actions.com.